So I like to start seating the bottom shield from the front of the computer here. And the trouble that I'm running into is that the last time the top shield was entirely removed and then the machine was put back together, it looks like someone just kind of jammed the cases together. So what that does is it causes the top shield to get all mangled up right in the front here. And that's something that I'm going to see if I can correct at this point. Cool. So that's going to be about as good as it gets over there. And now let's go ahead and screw this guy down. So longest screw goes up in the top corner. Again, what would be my three medium screws, but this machine is missing one of them, goes one, two, three. So we've just got two, unfortunately. And then the remaining screws are all the same size. Okay. Oddly enough, it has all of these guys. Okay, sweet. Last step is the bottom case here. I did this quickly, so you might not have noticed. There are video cables, video, microphone, backlight, sleep switch that um, come through this clutch and this clutch. It's very important to not crush those when you seat the bottom case. So that's actually why I like having the machine um, with the back facing me when I see the bottom case. So I can pop, I can be sure to be watching those wires when I pop the bottom case back together here. And you just kind of pinch it together and you get that awesome popping sound that you got when you took it apart. And I've got my T8 here. Here. And it's important to note there were three T8 screws. The two long ones need to go in the back. Uh, rookie mistake is putting one of the long ones in the center hole, which is where the short one goes. Uh, you won't feel that you're doing it, but you'll actually drill a hole right through the top shield. Now to correct that mistake that we found before, I'm going to go ahead and put the two screws into the um, bottom case to the bottom frame. And then I get my feet ready to go on. So one thing to note here, the, um, the metal feet should always sit flush to the bottom case. If yours isn't sitting flush, kind of jiggle it around with your finger until it gets into the right orientation to sit flush. If it's not sitting flush and you just drive the screw in there, in a couple days the metal will give and you will be footless. Kind of sad. So then I pop the rubber feet back in. And pop the battery in. And that's it. We're done. So let's see, what was that? With instruction, 21 minutes. Not so bad.